What is up everybody, it's your boy Duty back again with another video and oh my lord, we just finished watching the podcast where our boy DSP declined to address the drama between himself and Keemstar. And to me, it's very telling, it's very telling. Why do you say? Phil refused to address it from the very beginning, didn't even bring it up, tried to change the subject, didn't even mention it one second until of course, the tips rolled in and people started asking about the Keemstar drama. And the man literally sounds scared out of his mind. He sounds scared. Normally he would brush it off and just say, oh, I don't care. He would say something derogatory about Keemstar. He, he would address it in some way. But I think he is literally scared right now that, that Keemstar has something on him. And Keemstar did actually get someone to agree to interview with him, several people for money. And he's scared shitless, seriously. So he does address it a little bit. Of course, that's when the tips roll in and he has to say something, uh, but he does his best. He reminds me of a high schooler uh, who gets bullied and, and, and gets his lunch money taken from him every single day and he does his best to hide from the bully and he just can't it sounds pretty sad and we know that the big bad dsp the king of hate the man that doesn't back down from anything the man that will tell you to your face you know uh hateful slurs and just derogatory comments back down like a punk bitch let's hear this let's, let's hear the clips from his podcast the outstanding so I will respectfully disagree with you, but thank you for the tip. Okay. Well, we got someone tipping $2, but they're essentially trying to talk about drama, and I'm not entertaining drama. So thank you for the $2 tip is all I'm going to say, and I'm going to move on. It's that simple. Let's see here. Now, some of you might say, well, duty, maybe he's taking your advice where, you know, in the past, when things have come up, I've mentioned how you shouldn't even bother with it. You know, if, it bo if something bothers you so much or someone, you know, to the point where you're outraged and you're upset and you're screaming and yelling and you're losing your focus, you just ignore them. You just ignore them. And yes, that is the advice, the advice I give to a person. But I'm not seeing that here. I'm not seeing Phil taking that advice and essentially ignoring Keemstar and ignoring the drama. He honestly looks and sounds scared. Like something really shook him yes last night from that tweet. Um, and I don't know if he reached out to people, maybe his friends, his family, whoever, and maybe he did confirm that someone who's willing to do the interview. My guess, and I'll give that guess later on who, it, who I think uh, Keemstar may have gotten to do the interview. I'll get into that in a few. But if it's the person I think it is, I think Phil really has something very serious to be worried about. Let's see here. It is... Big Papa Pump. Big Papa Pump did another uh, Tyler Tibbs. says a lot of viewers today for the podcast. Well... Welcome to everyone who's here. I think, sadly, a lot of people are upset because there's no drama on the show today, which there was not going to be. I told you guys, I'm done with that. Um, you know, I said my piece on, on drama. I'm done with it, and I'm not addressing anymore. I'm done. I'm moving forward with my own content. I got shit to do. All right? <clears throat> now, we all know this is not DSP. This is the man that knows that if he makes a video, he would get three or 4,000 views. It would be one of the highest-rated uh viewed uh video on his pitiful channel which is, is sad to say but phil knows and he knows that that's a that's an extra three or four dollars in ad revenue and he will do it i honestly think that he is scared i think he believes that he he pushed keemstar too far and now keemstar is using his resources to really stick it to phil and of all the people out there, I think Keemstar might be the person to be able to do it because he has the time, he has the resources, and he has the funds to do it. 
and he's not one that has to worry about his anonymity or worry about his uh um, you know worried about his identity and stuff like that he's been out here for years everyone know who he is and he, he doesn't have to worry about those specific concerns that a lot of other people do so let's keep listening because i found this to be just super funny <laughs> so to the dollar says did you eat a bag of takis fuego before the stream why are you licking your lips today i don't know maybe it's the flavor of seltzer tangerine lime Alrighty, continuing on. Let's see here. Pickle Man, what's going on? Good to see you here today. <clears throat> okay. Oh, let's see here. Sneezing is too much drama? Indeed, it does. Alright, guys, if you have a couple quick questions to ask, we have uh, just a couple minutes. I don't want to go too long on the podcast today. We have gone almost an hour and a half, so just a couple more uh, minutes if you have any quick questions or anything to ask, and then we're going to jump back into Elden Ring, okay? That's another tale. How many times, how many days of the week does he overrun his podcast? Because you know he doesn't want to play games, really, and he figures he can get more tips doing podcasts and Q&A. But today, specifically, he was very cautious about the time. He was very concerned that he didn't want to run over that 3.30 p.m. Eastern time uh, mark where the podcast should be over. No, 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 not today. And to me, he just wanted to avoid answering questions about the whole Keemstar drama. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, Pickle Man, I don't have a question for you today, Pickle Man. It's really not on my mind, all right? So, I don't really have, uh, don't really have anything to, t to ask you today if I... Anything comes up, I'll let you know, though. Now, we all know Pickle Man always does a super chat or something and asks Phil to ask him a question. And Phil does, regardless of how random and boring and stupid it is, Phil does. But for some reason today, of all days, it's not, he, he can't. He's too busy. He's too preoccupied. He got too much on his mind to, to, and, to give Pickle Man a question. I wonder what that is. Maybe it's worrying, worrying who exactly the Keemstar reach out to and is going to be interviewing. And like I said, I mentioned earlier that I have my thoughts. Uh, a lot of people think it may be Panda Lee, but of course they always say, no, she's been out of it for a long time. She's in a good relationship. She's in a good place. Why dredge that up? Well, she is getting married or she is engaged. And you know, when you throw around money, Sometimes you need that money and you're willing to do things that maybe you wouldn't have wanted to do before. But when that cash comes flying and she of all people probably has a lot of dirt on Phil, his proclivities. Uh, he could talk about the whole in the sack thing. We all know the rumors. Pandali herself used to razz Phil about his, you know, impotence and all that. Uh, she has a lot of answers that we definitely would would be able to know. Uh, the other person I think it might be is it may be Howard, Howard and John, or at least Howard. Definitely. I can see him, uh, getting, a, a, a getting reached out by Keemstar and him agreeing to come on to a, some type of podcast or an interview and talk about Phil. Um, it could be, <laughs> excuse me. <clears throat> it could be, um, I don't know too many of his family members. I mean, except for those uncles and aunts and his parents, and I don't envision any of them being interviewed or saying anything. Uh, he did have that one cousin who lived with him uh, that got the boot when she was 18 because, you know, she fell into some bad things. It could be her. Uh, some people speculated Jenna. I, I don't think so. Um, yeah, I mean, it could be someone from the Street Fighter days, someone that knows him, uh, Jason Wong, I believe his name is. Uh, it could be something like that. It could be one of those people. Uh, but my money is on John and Howard. I really think it's going to be, if it's anyone, it's going to be John and Howard doing the interview. Uh, Gut says, I hope one day you'll do a tier maker stream on the Assassin's Creed games. We'll see. Maybe I will. Maybe I will indeed, right? Okay. And that's it, folks. He went running. And then, of course, he started talking about, I need to go to the bathroom. He was gone for about 15 minutes. And now he's back to his boring gameplay. I'm pretty sure the uh, the den heads will be asking on his stream today about the drama. And I'm curious to know how many people he's going to send to Band World. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I can't believe 
Keemstar punch Phil in the mouth and took his lunch money and Phil ran like a little bitch. Oh my lord. If we get any more word or news, I'll definitely report it out. If not, peace out. Have a good day.